Alors on est toujours sur Knock Knock Onam et on est en présence de Richie Kotzen. Hi Richie, how's it going? Um, it's going really well. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out what you're saying and then I realized, oh, that's not English. <laughs> France, right? Yeah. I suppose you've been to France a bunch of times. Yes. Yeah. How many times have you been to Nam? Uh, probably as many times as I've been to France. <laughs> <laughs> Which is roughly? Oh, maybe 15. Oh, cool. Yeah. Lovely. Let me see. Hey, let me see. 18, 19, 20. <laughs> I've been to France. I've been to the NAM show more times than I've been to France. Oh, okay. Yeah. And uh, one thing that strikes me, being a big fan of yours, is how do you come about playing so fast just by finger picking without using a pick? Uh, well, um, I mean, I, actually sounding like it, as if you were using a pick well, sometimes, but more versatile. You know, I don't really think too much about it. I, 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 I you always kind of use both. You know, I always did both. Do you keep the pick in your hand at the same time? Or? I used to, but then eventually. Um, I, I just challenged myself to see if I could get through a show without it. And so then I did, and I was kind of bored with what I sounded like prior to, to doing that. And then once I did it, it kind of opened up some other doors, it slowed me down, and I started feeling more excited about what I was playing again, and so I kind of stuck with it, and you know, it just kind of changed my perspective, opened up a, a couple of different doors for me creatively, and that's what happened. Did you start by playing guitar or singing first? I mean, I mean you sing as good as you play. Of, uh, well, it's thank just you. Amazing. Uh, believe it or not, I, I started on the piano. Uh, I'm not very good on the piano, but I started on the piano. So multi multi instrumentist, kind of. I mean, you know, I, I'm a singer. I'm a singer and a guitar player. I think those are the two yeah. things. At, and most importantly, I, what I love to do the most is write songs. So um, how did you come about writing a song? Would you first write the lyrics or oh, that's always do, different. do both at the same time? It's always different. Sometimes I hear a melody in my head, sometimes I have a lyric idea, sometimes the melody and the lyric come at the same time, sometimes I play a riff and the melody comes. I mean, it's random. Sometimes I hear a drum beat and some kind of weird bass line, you know what I mean? It's like completely random. Play bass as well? Yeah, I love playing bass. That's one of the things I really love to do when I make, uh, when I have a new song is, the first thing that happens when I have a song, once I have the melody, I hear the drum beat immediately because they're connected. And then usually... Is that how you get the, the groovy side of... Probably. And then usually I hear the vocal melody, the drum beat, and then it's usually the bass line. And believe it or not, the guitar is almost like towards the end a lot of times when I'm working on something. So A song like, oh my god. That's the bass. I wrote that on the bass. That's the, cause yeah, I, that's, that's a good example. A, sort of funky side of it is of Richard Codes and yeah. Okay, well, thank you very much. All right. it's such an honor to meet you, honestly. Thank you.